When I think of quiche, I imagine something that's a bit retro and a bit twee, but this crisp pastry base, which is filled with a savoury egg mixture, is a perfect vehicle for a wide variety of ingredients. I'm gonna fill mine with my leggy gown, goat's cheese curd, some sweet caramelised red onion, and a really nice bit of aromatic thyme. It's a classic, but it starts off with a really good pastry base. And to make that, I have some cold butter, and it's very cold because it's quite cold in this jail. I've got some plain flour, and I'm just gonna tip this in and rub it together with my fingertips. But make sure, considering this is a savory quiche, that you season it with a bit of sea salt. Some people hate fingernails on blackboards, but my hatred <laughs> it comes from flour rubbing through my fingers. But I do enjoy doing it because you get left with great pastry at the end. It's worth the pain. I've got a nice evenly combined butter and flour mixture, so to bring it together, just hit it with a bit of cold water. About a tablespoon should do, and just get that in to bring this dough together. Once you've got a nice dough which has come together, just turn it out. I've got a nice dough ball now. So wrap this up with some cling film. This is gonna rest for 30 minutes, and while that's happening, I'm gonna make up the filling for this wonderful quiche. I have some red onions which are finely sliced, and into a pan, just tip them on in. My trick for the perfect caramelized red onions is to start at a nice high heat to catch those onions just a little bit and hit it with some sea salt because the sea salt is gonna draw out any of the moisture of the onions and you'll just be left with that intense sweetness. So once that's mixed through, turn down the heat right down and this is gonna cook out low and slow for about 10 minutes until they're reduced right down. These are coming along very nicely so I'm gonna roll out my pastry Dust it with a little bit of plain flour. Roll it out and you're looking for a large flat oval, which is about a centimeter in thickness, a little bit less. Pastry can do bad things to you. At times it can fall apart, but if it does, I think that's where you have to not stress about it because it can always be put back together. I used to always worry about putting pastry into a tart tin, but if you just take your time with it, and even if it does fall apart, just press it back together and it'll all work out. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Now, the best way to make your quiche is in a deep tart tin with a fluted edge, and do make sure that you have a removable base. I've buttered this one and it's really generously greased to ensure that I can get it out. And the best way to do this with your pastry is to just drape it over your rolling pin like this and then just drape it into that tart tin and push it down. You'll notice that it's a little bit cold in here, so this is kind of breaking up a tiny bit, but like I said, just push it in and there'll be no problems. Just run your rolling pin over that pastry case and this will essentially cut off those pastry edges. You can do it with a knife, but I think possibly one of the best sounds in the kitchen is when you run that rolling pin over those fluted edges. That is looking pretty good now. So I've got my pastry case all good to go. I'm gonna just prick it with a fork all over the base. Fill that with some baking beans. So I'll get them straight in. This now goes into the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. After the pastry case has been cooking for about 10 to 12 minutes, take out the baking beans, brush the base with a little bit of beaten egg, and put it back in the oven for another few minutes. What you should be left with is something that looks exactly like this, a really good quiche tart tin. And now it's time to get on with our filling. For that, I have an eggy mixture mixed with some cream. So I've got three large free range eggs going in here. This is your basic quiche mix. If you can get this right, you can add a whole host of different ingredients in here. Give it a good whisk up, but don't forget to season it up with some sea salt and black pepper. Now, across the base of this quiche tin, what I'm going to do is drape in that lovely red onion. So mix that across the base. And then I've got that lovely leggy gowan cheese. If you didn't want to use goat's cheese here, you could also use a good Irish blue cheese. So a few sprigs of thyme going in here as well. And now pour over that quiche filling. And that is looking really, really good. This now goes into the oven to cook off at 180 degrees Celsius for 35 minutes. 
My quiche has come out of the oven and it's cooled ever so slightly, so it's time to take it out of the tin. So a great little tip is to place it on a jar just like this and your tart tin should come away very, very nicely. So now it's time to transfer this to a plate. This is exactly why I made a quiche. You have that leggy go and goat's cheese peeking through that golden top and inside that sweet caramelized red onion, a true winner.